Well, good afternoon. It's Saturday today and I have unplanned life. And the reason for my unplanned life is, first of all, we just finished safety class. Our first class finished uh, an hour ago, 20 students, people who come from different backgrounds, people who already have company, people who came to visit my dispatch training, they already passed IFTA training and they want to succeed. So they are smart enough to learn the foundation, to learn the basics and then jump into the trucking. Uh, why I am going live right now? We are starting dispatch training tomorrow, October 17th, right? Our October training. We just finished our September with 40 students. We went through practice. All this week we went through practice. I have one more group on Monday and on Tuesday, I will do one more class for people who I really want to uh, kind of uh, appreciate, for students who really did homework, for students who put extra effort. So tonight, some of those lucky students are going to receive that email for extra practice because I've seen so much improvements. I've seen so much dedication with homeworks, with, um, with quizzes, with... Uh, calling, making sure that we're thinking. So some of you will going to have extra class and this is just my thank you to you. Why I'm going live right now. First, we are sold out, guys. We have 40 students for tomorrow. Even 40 students, it's already a little bit too much because you guys know when we do the practice, every student has a chance to do practice. I am receiving so many phone calls. Please sign me up, sign me up, please. I cannot wait till November. Every time when I go live, I am telling you, you need to be ready for my first class. Yes, I gave chance for a few people last minute with a big promise that they will be catching up. I am advising you guys, if you really like the way I teach, if you want to succeed, start signing up for November. Actually, we already 50% sold out. But another thing I would like to really talk about today, and it's not planned live, so let's talk about that being a dispatcher. What do you really need to have? It's so much confusion out there on internet, in those groups. Do I need to have my own company? Will I have to apply for my own MC? What do I have to do? And if you guys watching me, I can see the comments and I can answer. I know this is not pre-planned, so probably not too many of you watching. You're going to be probably re-watch. I see six people watching. So let's make it clear one more time. If you are company dispatcher, you will be working for motor carrier as an employee, right? You're going to be working under the MC under their insurance, and you're going to be dispatching trucks for them. At the moment, at the moment, it doesn't matter if you actually physically going to go to the office or you might be working from home, but still, you are a company dispatcher. You are the same employee as their accountant. You are the same employee as their company driver or maybe their safety manager. So you are an employee. In this case, what do you need? Well, you need some knowledge. You need to have a positive attitude. You need to know what you're doing and you're going to be working for them, right? Most of the companies, they will teach you on a job, but lots of them will ask if you have any experience. Well, in this case, my advice to you, get the training. Get the basic foundation. And it doesn't matter if it's going to be my training. It's going to be somebody else's training. But you need to know what? Equipment. You need to know, you need to know your uh, regulations. You need to know how to negotiate. You need to know load boards. You need to know basics of logistics. So somebody even going to give you a chance. Regions time zones, 
What is it, the markets for reefer? What is the markets for drive ends? What are we doing with the step decks? Do you really think somebody's going to hire you if you don't even know the time zones? If you don't know where is West Coast, where is the South? If you don't even know the abbreviation of the states? Come on, guys. This is, this is something you need to learn on your own or you need to sign up. Okay? So... Please make a lesson. Who do you deal with in a situation like this? Well, I'm going to be answering. So now you are company dispatcher. Most of the students who come to my classes, they are business-oriented students. They are people who want to succeed. So they want to learn this industry, and they want to become independent dispatch service or independent dispatcher. So now this is a business model. So what do you do? You're going to find different carriers. It can be one. It can be two. It can be three. As many as you can manage. Maybe one carrier has two trucks. Another has one truck. Then you have a guy who has five trucks. I would think that to do a good job, you cannot dispatch more than 10 trucks. If you're really going to make them profitable. If you're really going to make them uh, safe on the road, 10 trucks is more than enough for, uh, it, it, it's maybe 12 if you really have experience for a few years. Then you can start adding people working under you because now you're a business model, right? So you have more carriers who want you to dispatch, but physically you cannot manage. So what are you going to do? Well, you're going to hire help, right? So you are organizing independent dispatch service. I see all this nonsense in uh, groups. This is illegal. Independent uh, being dispatcher is illegal. You cannot do this. You violating the rule. Let's stop right here. First of all, when you are dispatching somebody, you providing the service. You working under them, carrier is hiring you to provide service in what? In booking the loads, helping them with the transit, negotiation. People asking, as independent dispatchers, do I need to have my own MC? No, because if you're going to have your own MC, then you are carrier, then you are trucking company. Do I need to have insurance, liability, 750000 in cargo? No, because this is not your company. You will be using information for the carrier with his permission. So when you sign dispatcher carrier agreement, this is going to be the terms. So is it illegal? No, he's hiring you as a service. You're not in between shippers, brokers, receivers. No, you working for this the, uh, carrier. You providing services by looking for the loads, signing rate confirmation, negotiation. That's only thing you do. And when you representing them that you using their insurance, you using their uh, setups, right? You only representing them. So is that illegal? I don't think so. Well, this is my personal opinion. I am not a lawyer, but I've been in this industry for a long time, right? You guys are not a third party. You don't go directly to shipper and say, well, I am independent dispatcher. Can I have 10 loads and now I'm going to give them away? No, you cannot do that because to do that, you need to have a 30 for the brokerage, right? That's another thing. You can be a broker. In this case, you will need MC, you will need to have bond, and you can be a broker. In this case, you're going to be in between whom? Shippers, receivers, buyers, and carriers. Yes, this is regulator. Carriers are regulated. Being a company dispatcher or independent dispatch service, well, you don't really need to have MC. You don't really need to have insurance. But people asking, should I have company open? Of course, because we are in America. Do you want to work as a physical person with carrier? No, because of the tax purposes. So that's why usually you're going to open 
company, whatever you decide, right? And in America, we can have corporation, uh, CNS, we can have LLC, we can have partnership, whatever you decide, whatever is wise for you. I don't know how big you're planning to grow, right? You're going to open corporation. Let's say I am going to call it Alex Dispatch or Dispatch Training Center Incorporation or Alex Dispatch uh, LLC. You have company which is going to provide still service to carrier. Let's say we have carrier best uh, transportation. So now me, Alex Dispatch Service is going to make agreement with best transportation carrier for what? For me to provide service using their information, right? Using their MC, DOT, insurance. Do I have to have my own? No, I don't want to become motor carrier. I don't want to be transportation company. I don't want to buy trucks. I don't want to chase drive drivers, but I can provide service. Are we clear on this? So let's see if I have to answer any questions before I'm going to continue. So uh, Chani says, I would love to join your training. My husband and I just started my own op uh, authority and I will be dispatching for him. Well, you can join us in November. November 13th is our next class. Make sure you pre-register at least two weeks before. My classes are intense. My class is a live interactive, four, four or five hours each class, total of four classes in the practice. You have to be ready for the first class. That's why so many people getting upset today. They want to register for tomorrow and I am turning them down. You guys need to be prepared for my class. You want to succeed. It's a lot of information. So hopefully I'll see you. No more than 10 trucks. Yes, no more than 10 trucks because if you really want to make a good money for the carriers physically, you cannot do a good job. You know what? Unless company has dedicated lanes, right? Yeah, you can dispatch 20 trucks, right? If 10 of them are doing the same route and you have the same broker, then yes, you can even dispatch 30 trucks if half of them have the same lane. But if not, to do a good job, to make sure that they do legal run, that their rate per mile is better than national average to, for them to make profit. No, you cannot dispatch more than 10, 12 trucks. So I don't know how good you are or not, but I really would love to see the numbers because believe it or not, you need to give updates. You need to build relationships. You need to make sure that you really connect those loads right now market is good right let me see you dispatching more than 12 trucks when the markets go go down right now you know i have my cat watching my classes all the time in this market even he can dispatch right but we're talking about pro dispatching we're talking about making profits we're not talking about dispatching just to get rid of the trucks to just get rid of the trucks yeah i can do 40 trucks a day even 50 just to get rid of them book Call, book, go. One truck sitting two days, another sitting three days. This truck is late. That one is does illegal run. This one you fake in log book. Totally different story. So, I mean, everybody has a different view on this. But again, we're talking about really doing a good job. That's why I do believe that uh, you'd better charge extra money and you have less truck to dispatch. The driver is going to make more money and you're going to do a better job. Qu quality, not quantity, and charge extra. So instead of charging 1%, 2% and trying to dispatch 20 trucks, charge what you deserve if you really know what you're doing and dispatch six, seven, eight trucks, but do a really good job, okay? Our appointment was confirmed, so let's see. Our comport was confirmed, but they have no room for the product. So what should we do? Wait until next week? Broker can't help. Well, uh, appointment was confirmed. So happens. Sometimes they do not have a space. In this case, what are you going to do? Are you going to sit till the next week? No. You're going to decide with a broker and find cross-docking facility. 
and broker will need to help you to arrange other truck to re-deliver the product. If we are talking about dry goods, right? So cross docking facility, again, who is the shipper? Who is the receiver? If you've been doing it for a long time, you're going to know to avoid some places. Broker should help you if appointment was confirmed. You cannot really sit till the next week. What are they going to pay you? Layover? $150 a day? No, this is nonsense. Plus, try to reach out to facility. Try to reach out and talk to them. Explain the situation. They are also humans, right? So calling, talking to the management and asking them a favor. Explaining, well, guys, appointment was confirmed. I understand, but we are a smaller trucking company. We need to keep going. Can anybody help, right? Who is telling us? Park the trailer and ask the broker, never know the situation, so he will pay extra and he can work until that can be received. <laughs> Park the trailer and as a broker, never know the situation and he pay extra. Okay, yeah, extra, but we cannot sit. We cannot sit there for a week or so. So be proactive. Try to reach out to the management, to receiver. Sometimes broker, they wash off their hands. They don't answer their phone emails. Can you make decision without their approval? No, because you have liability for cargo. Okay, Alex, I only have one box truck. I do not want to be a dispatcher, but I want to understand how to take the cargo on my own. Can I take a personal consultation? <laughs> personal consultation. Well, personal consultation is only one hour or two hours. Can I teach you about logistics in one, two hours? Unfortunately, not. Unfortunately, not. And it doesn't matter if it's only one truck, two trucks, 10 trucks. You need to know the process. Booking, rebooking, paperwork, insurance, invoicing, liability, markets, rate per mile, operational cost. No, I do not do private consultation on such a big uh, uh, subject. If you need a private cons uh, consultation, for example, well, I need to open company or something smaller, yes, I can do private consultation. But on something like that, unfortunately, Margarita, it's way too much on your hands. I cannot explain to you one on one. So um, I would still suggest you still sign up for the class with us or somebody else, but you need to learn more than just a private consultation. Wow. Uh, what is this? Do not take more at people with, with you so that you can be good with the service you're providing. <laughs> Do not take more. Add people with you so that you can be good with service you are providing. Well, um, don't really understand the meaning, but I guess he suggested me not to take more people. Yes, I'm not taking more. 40 students a class, it's already big number. And we've been sold out like this every month. November is almost sold out. I can manage 40 students. I give everybody personal attention and we divided you by groups. Actually, it's fun to have such a big class because everybody has a different stories. Everybody has different questions. So it helps. Plus, we are building a relationship right there in the class. After one month, you already have another 39 people who are coming to trucking who, who is in trucking, right? Oh, what's your personal? Okay. What is my personal current RPM for reefer and dry van? Well, right now for reefer, we are averaging 385, 399, and for dry van, 360, 370. It depends if we are staying with the Midwest or we go cross country. So this is average RPM right now. Uh, Okay, so under that, I have 19 trucks, but 10 of them are on dedicated lands. Yes, that's what I said, Andre. That's why, yes, you can manage 19 trucks because 10 of them are doing the same lanes, right? So that is easy because only what you do, you really just schedule in them. You don't need to make 10, 15 phone calls, five phone calls for those 10 trucks. You just putting them on schedule. So again, uh, yes, you can manage more trucks, but if you look in on load boards and you don't have dedicated lanes, you cannot do a good job for more than 12. 
I wear, um, I do like your classes. If I were my boss, I would send half of our dispatch team to your classes. Thank you so much. Yes, we do reteach a lot of different teams. We have uh, companies who have 20, 30 uh, dispatchers. We have companies who've been in business for five, 10, seven years, and they still take our private classes to reteach their dispatch because sometimes you get comfortable with what you're doing and from outside just looking of what you guys doing i can help you a little bit or just improve right and lots of them do not have basic foundation so they start dispatching they start uh, they start the booking the loads but they never got foundation about operational cost about the tolls about the fuel about regulation hos hours so they don't really know the markets the shippers the receivers the seasons so you can always improve guys being a dispatcher you have to be on top of the things right today you have to be uh watch the news what's going on you have to be a weather person right is, is that snow is that uh, is that reindeer is that hurricane right you need to make sure you watch economic trend lines. You need to watch holidays, right? Spot market coming, holidays are coming. It's so much more into uh, trucking dispatch than just learn how to post truck, right? And make that phone calls. Even when you make that phone calls, the questions have to go in the order. How much is the load should be the last question. It's always the last question, right? Because first you need to know pick up delivery if transit is possible then what is the commodity is this commodity have even covered on your insurance or maybe it's exclusion what about shipper receiver do you really want to deal with Publix somewhere in miami or do you want to go to mclean in north carolina i don't think so do you want to go to a kenosha miracle or do you ever want to deliver for example to juliet cold storage do you want to go to chuvi in arizona or ohio no not really all of that comes with knowledge i am not telling you that it's impossible it's possible strong foundation and then applying your skills is it possible to fake <laughs> is it possible to fake forwarded rate confirmation yes it's possible we have a lot of creative people right so they forward in your rate confirmation first they forward on other email then they switch rate confirmation and they forward you back yes again honesty of this business if you are owner operator and you come to work for somebody there is no excuse for you not to have direct rate confirmations if i am the owner of the company i might say well you're gonna receive but you cannot go back directly and start negotiating detention layover and all of the things because we want to make sure that we know that it's done in professional way i can have that rule but if you are owner operator who comes and works for me you're gonna receive right confirmation straight to you because that's why you own their operator right you pay me percentage whatever it is nowadays from 12 to 15. again you'd better charge extra but be honest then you're gonna charge them 10 8 percent and you're gonna steal from the owner operator guys uh i don't believe in this so yes it is possible okay can the person who has zero knowledge of the dispatch industry take your class or is this experience required well i love people who have no knowledge you know why because i can teach you the right way sometimes people come with experience it's hard to break their habits because they're gonna tell me no i don't do this i i'm gonna do this they listen to me listen and then they go back to the habits people without knowledge are the best students for me we have probably 80 percent who come to my class with no truck in industry they come from medical fields they come from totally uh hospitality services restaurant business they have from different different uh parts of um different industries so no i want you not to have experience because you will be really really starting the way you should start and the way you should start you need to have knowledge 
markets, equipment, rules, regulations, load boards, HOS, and then start uh, posting and negotiating. This is the right way to do dispatch. So uh, is it possible? What else? What rates do you prefer as what rates do you prefer as uh, of right now for reefers? Again, it depends on my drivers. I have drivers who don't like short runs or they don't like East Coast. So if he's only on Midwest, then we work on Midwest. Again, is he a company driver or he is a uh, owner operator? I have people who only go West Coast. So usually we go Chicago, Yakima, Yakima, Bronx Market, New Jersey, Maryland, come back to Chicago again to Washington. This is for people who like cross country or they go to California or they go to Nogales, Arizona, Mac, uh, Mac Allen, Colorado. It depends. But again, right now is what? Right now is uh, pumpkins coming up. Where are the pumpkins coming up? Missouri, Indiana, Michigan, right? Did you see that now you can get a really good payload with pumpkins? Pumpkins are easy. It's better than minus 10 degrees. What else? Apples in Washington, right? Uh, soon we're going to have uh, nursery loads. What are we going to have? Christmas trees, spot market, because holidays are coming. So all of this in depends on where your company located, on the driver habits. I mean, for me, uh, it doesn't matter. I know my drivers and I talk to them. What do you want to do? For me, the most thing is that they stay legal, but they also make money, profitability. So, I mean, I, I, I don't care. I love West Coast. I love to work with Washington. I always work with Washington, with apples, with cherries. California, you know what? Personally, I don't really like because... Most of the good paying loads, they want you to do multi-pick in California, and you know California. By the time you're going to make that multi-pick, it's nonsense. You're going to spend two, three days, then you are late, so you lose an extra day. Yes, California is great if you don't go all the way to East Coast and if you live in California. So those pickups uh, are not affecting you. And me, I'm a smart dispatcher, one-on-one -on -one only, no multi-packs, multi-drops. I've seen so many students and family businesses who go and start doing shorter loads with three picks, four drops. Well, okay, their rate per mile is $5. But when you look at the transit, he starts on Monday, yes, $5 per mile for, let's say, 1,000 miles, let's say 5,000, right? But he's going to be done all the way on Friday or Saturday, if everything goes smooth. Most of those really good paying loads, they have strict facilities, especially for reefers. So if you're going to get halt at AmeriCold and then you have CNS and then you have Walmart, believe me, those $5 is going to, in the end of the uh, week, become three and a half because after you calculate that you add an extra day in transit or two days in transit, it's not worth it. Plus liability. One and one only, no touch. This is the best load you can have. Yes. Uh, sold. Uh, thank you, Quinn. <laughs> wow, that's nice. Thank you, Quinn. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> is it possible? How much a dispatcher earns on average? Another question. How much an experienced independent dispatcher earns on average? Well, it depends how good you are and how hardworking person you are, right? If you're dispatching only three trucks, what are we charging? In USA, we're charging nowadays from 5 to 7 8%. If you are talking being independent dispatch outside of the country, you only charging 1%, 2%, but living cost is cost lower, right? If you are independent dispatch service who has help, right? Like me, we have help. We have other dispatchers who already work under me because I have dispatch service. Well, you can make lots of money. I can promise you. It's going to be a lot, way more than some doctors and lawyers make. We can make money in trucking. Uh, does your training covers box truckers specific, oh, specific to semis? We, we cover box truck, but not in details. We concentrate on driving, reefers, flatbed, step decks. Again, 
I am a queen, but I love to teach what I'm really comfortable with. I never really went and I, I work with the box trucks maybe for a few months. Do not really like it. I like to uh, get big numbers, make profit. So not really. So I, I do believe we have other people who really concentrate on box trucks. When you come to our class, you can learn on setups commodities and you can grow into other if only box truck maybe you should you should find those specific trainings uh what okay what is your medium week curing growth for reefer or dry man so for dry man right now we are averaging from nine to twelve thousand and for reefer we are averaging from 9500 to 14 but again we're talking about legal runs so we're talking about 399 for all miles. We're not talking about faking logbooks and driving as a team. How much, how much do you charge for dispatch? Five, ten percent. Well, since I am a queen, Kesha, yes, I charge more because when I dispatch, I also provide safety, compliance, and mentoring for my carriers. So, yes, my dispatch fee starts from eight and higher. Uh, when I started a long time ago, it was from 5-6%. Again, if you add in extra service, you can add extra charge. That's why most of my students, like today, we had a safety class, 20 students, 50%, uh, they are students from dispatch because they want to add extra service so they can charge more money. Small carriers cannot afford separate safety person they want to make sure that dispatcher can help them with invoicing, IFTA, all the UCR updates, maybe DQ files. So if you know that, then yes, you can start charging. But they're going right right now from five to six. I see some people try to go for two, three percent. Well, you try, but you know what? I don't really think to do a good job. That's enough. Again, I am back to the number charge, charge more, but do a good job. You don't want to start charging one and a half percent and dispatch 19 trucks, right? So what else? Uh, okay, so what is this? So what do you think about the agricultural HOS example? And you said reefers are your favorite. So I guess you are familiar with that one too. Well, H agricultural HOS exemption. Remember exemption, it can be only for what? For restart. But you still have to concentrate on your hours. You still have to go sleep for 10 hours, right? You only can have exemption for the restart, okay? But we have the short haul exemption for agricultural loads. So what are you talking about? Are you talking about short haul exemption under 150 miles radius? Or which, which agricultural exemption you're talking about? We have two different ones. So you have to make sure that you have the paperwork in a truck with you. You cannot just use every time you feel like. Remember, we had an emergency exemption due to COVID. Most of the companies were using it where it was not even emergency, emergency load, right? So misuse, you were lucky. That's good if you were lucky, but still... You need to know the truth. Hold on, guys. I need to close my uh, my window because the sun is. Sorry about that. What else? Thank you, Quisha. <laughs> I'm not used to. I guess I have to use the name Queen, huh? Does your training cover power only? Yes, we cover power only. But if you talking exactly about Amazon, yes. We cover how to create Amazon account, but I am not teaching you how to click Amazon. I don't believe Amazon is, is dispatching. It's just a clicking, clicking, clicking. And most of the people are clicking outside of the USA. And that's why they are killing Amazon nowadays. Do you see that rates in Amazon went down? Because when people without experience or knowledge just clicking just to click something, what's happening? Amazon is smart. They have their data. So they lower in their prices. And still, we have 30 desperate people just clicking, right? So now everybody wants to quit Amazon and come and get to the reefers and dry vans, right? Why? Because rates went down. But what is the problem now? 
you cannot find trailers nowadays, right? It's a shortage of trailers, dry vans, reefers. You cannot even find a truck. So my thing is learn whatever you do, power only, box truck, reefer, dry van. Just know your bottom dollar. Know what the rates pay. That's why, let's look at this. When you dispatch, guys, you need to make sure. Let me see. <laughs> I'm going to log in right now. Sorry. So um, let me show you something. Let's share the screen while I'm doing live, right? Uh, share the screen. Let's share this right now. So please, when you go, make sure you use those tools. I talk about them all the time, right? I talk about trend lines. So let's see trend lines right now for this month. October drive-in average is 287. Flatbeds is a 308 and dry winds is 327. This is loaded miles, right? Loaded miles. So that means that a good dispatcher is going to be higher. So like we, we are 399, some of them even 445. This is your average. You should not go below on your loaded miles. If you include all your miles with empty miles, this is going to be a little bit lower. So still, if you're getting 315, 320, you're okay for reefer, right? But it also depends on what? On the loads, because the shorter loads are going to pay pay uh, more. So let's do one more time. So let's, let me give you an example, okay? Um, hold on. Let me share. So if I am going to go to load board, let's talk about short load. Quick rate search. Let's say drive in. Uh, let's put Chicago, right? Chicago. If you only go in to, let's say Cleveland, Ohio, Ohio, right? Cleveland, Ohio. If I'm going to click on the search, see, the rate is going to be 460 per mile, right? It's not going to be 286 because we're talking about short haul. So shorter loads, of course, rate per mile is going to be higher. That's why when people ask me, what is your average RPM for reefer or driving? Which guy? The one who stays on Midwest and has a shorter load? Of course, his RPM is going to be higher. Or you're talking about the guy who goes West Coast to West Coast, to longer miles. So this is going to be a short haul. Let's see local run. Let's say Chicago to Milwaukee, right? The local run. Look at this. This only has 671. What are we talking about here? 80 miles, 100 miles? So we're talking about what? $67 per mile? Do you see that we cannot really put the number rate per mile? It depends what kind of load, but doesn't matter. How, let, let's do the long haul. So Chicago going to, let's say... Uh, Los Angeles, right now we're talking about long haul. Again, we're talking about driving. Only $1.72 to go to California. But when you switch around, how much is California paying? $342, approximately. So $342 plus $172 divided by two will give you that kind of average $287, $290. Okay? Are we clear on this? That's why statistic is a bad example for real rates. They are bad example, but they helpful for beginners because lots of times they don't even know what's good or not. Okay? So it just posted and not booked loads. Actually, we are partner with the debt. And it's not true because statistic for that. They have agreement with bro uh, brokers and they give them posted and the book rates. So that's what it is because somebody said that it's a bad example. Well, this is at least the tool you can use so you know your bottom dollar. You cannot be lower than at least that statistics. So that's how you guys gonna learn how to dispatch. One more time. If you are looking for our classes, make sure that you come to visit us, right? Here's our website. 
LearnDispatchToday.com. We have mentorship, a monthly subscription, actually on two, twice on Tuesdays, three hours. This is for people who already took our classes or took any other classes. This is not for new people. $69 per month for our classes, two trainings, three hours each time. And for not our students, it's $199. Lots of more detailed information, lots of technique, negotiation, how to build your business. Also, we have our classes sold out for tomorrow, but we have what? November's coming up. And of course, we started our safety. Open trucking company. People, if you are looking to open trucking company, do not miss this. $199 for three hours. I will be teaching you how to open company. You don't have to pay nobody for MCs, USDOT, BOC, UCR. Please, you need to know uh, what to do before you jump to open company. We have our partners. We have TMS. We have that. If you are looking to get the free, uh, free one month, Please click here and you'll get a free month for the debt power. Also, we have ELD partners and TMS. We also provide factoring because as many of you know, I am also agent for RTS. We have all our reviews and we have lots and lots of students. Also, make sure you follow us on the Facebook, right? And I'm very thankful that you guys are on our YouTube because without you, we cannot change tracking for better. And again, I post a lot of videos. I post a lot of information. And the only thing we're asking in return, if you can afford, join us for membership. It's $3.99 a month. Those money are going to go towards helping people who cannot afford our classes. We've been already sponsoring so many people for free classes, people who really in need for $3.99. Because you know what? First, I thought I am going to start dividing my videos for members only. No, I am not going to do it because I really believe truly that we are doing an awesome job. And personally, me, even on Saturday today, I'm taking my personal time that asking for you to support us with $3.99, that's not much to ask. And together, we can change industry. And I want to make sure that you subscribe to our channel and you watch and you guys ask me questions. Usually, I answer most of them. If you have any questions, post on the uh, video and I will answer, right? We are up to 4,000 uh, subscribers. And guys, we only started in April. We are growing really fast. You have all the playlists with our real classes, our real students, and we are trying. So here's our membership. I want to say thank you to all our members. It's $3.99, our community, everything else. And together, we can change this industry for better. Thank you for watching me on my unplanned uh, live. Because Monday, we're not going to have life because we are finishing up with this class. So on Monday, I still have lots of students to practice. My last uh, student, six, uh, six, six students on Monday, we're going to do the live phone calls. They are booking the live loads. Later in the week, I'm going to post preview from this amazing class. And of course, tomorrow, we are starting our new dispatch class. guys help each other. Don't hesitate to reach out. Trucking is a great industry. Everybody can have a piece of it. Everybody can be successful with the knowledge, with the good habits and the positive energy. So thanks again. I don't see any other questions. Let me see. I was talking about the 150 mile radius from the source of the commodities. Yes, you can use the short, uh, short haul exemption so what are you doing? You are you can be on a paper, uh, paper logs, not the EOD. So you can use that exemption. But 150 miles, Mikhailo, has to be from the company where you register, right? Not from where you pick up that produce, right? 
So I just want to make sure you understand. So if you register in Chambord, Illinois, 150 miles around it, otherwise it does not work. But we also have agricultural exemption for people who are in a, far, a farming business, right? Because they also regulated. So that was agricultural exemption. This is short haul exemption, right? For you, you might use a paper workbook, but also for this, you will need to have ICC number, not just MC. So you will have USDOT, MC. If you're going out of state, if you're only doing, you will need ICC number. So make sure you pay attention to it and get it if your company does not have it. Okay, that statistic is a bad example. What else? Do you recommend using a tracking management software for dispatching? Well, again, it depends how many trucks are you dispatching. I do believe that good TMS, and that's why we team up with the UTEC, because they have everything together. So you can connect dispatching, safety, fuel, tolls, ELD, PC miler, everything in one system. As an independent dispatcher, why do I like them? Because you can have different companies under same login, right? So as an independent dispatcher, I have this guy with his MC, I have this guy, this guy, but it's all in one software and I only pay per one user. So that's why, for example, I partner up with them because everybody else, you need to have a different, so you're going to spend so much money or your carrier has to do it. I like it. You can keep your safety and compliance there. You can have your fuel card connected. You can have your uh, factoring connected to that so you don't have to deal extra step. Everything in one system, click, click, clean. Invoicing done. Dispatching is done. Uh, they are launching actually driver app, I believe, in a few weeks. So even if you need two forward notes to your driver, you do it right there. Instead of going crazy, oh, let me text, let me email, let me do this. Sometimes too many logins is getting confusing. So yes, I do like it. Again, go to our website, Learn Dispatch Today. Go on the tab Partners and ask for demo. They will send you demo. They will call you and you can see if that's something you really want to have. Okay. Uh, do you have on how to find, <laughs> do you have how to find owner operators, Vanessa? Yes. How do we find them? We go to all the new authorities. We also reach out for the older authorities. We're going to become active on Facebook. We're going to create our profile. You want to be uh, seen. Guys, nowadays with this change of the minds and media is so powerful, you need to have Instagram account, you need to have Facebook account, but please start putting at least your face, right? I People telling me, oh, nobody's answering. And when I look at their profile, they don't have pictures, they don't have description. Really? If you contacted me and you're going to tell me that you are the best dispatcher, right? And I have no activity on your Facebook business profile. I'm not talking about personal account. Do you really think I am going to give you a chance, Vanessa? You know that better. You took my class. No, it's not the way. Also, you can go to power that, right? Look, I mean, I can share because people are afraid of sharing the stuff. You can go, <clears throat> you can go and search directory, right? So you will need... You can look at, oh, sorry, share. So look, what did I do? I went to load board. You have directory, right? And you can go and search. Try to, uh, directory search for whom? For carriers, right? You have to log in one more time. And it's going to tell you all the carriers, <laughs> right? You can do advanced search. What kind of carriers you want to look? Do you want to look? Uh, for example, maybe uh, dry good commodities, you can choose. Maybe you only want to deal with interstate or, okay, interstate. Do you want to have safety rating? Yeah, you want to make sure that they satisfactory. Are you going to reach out for anybody who is not in good standing? What equipment? 
for now maybe you want to start with only uh dry vents right so let's take when okay what else you can search you can search the state here you go alaska we're gonna search in alaska not really unless you're gonna go through canada let's click on alabama search okay so if you search <coughs> if you search look at this all of these carriers are listed here then you're gonna open look for their phone look for their email right so is it easy easy is people telling you that no they want to charge you money for that list it's free it is free guys if you have power dead it's free again if you need to sign up for power dead make sure you use our code right so you can get one month for free if you are independent dispatch service you cannot sign up online you need to call them you need to have company open corporation llc partnership and you will mention the code 2017475 from whom dispatch training center and they will give you subscription also subscription are gonna go in price november 1st i believe that 39.99 the tra trucker's edge still the same everything else goes in price the one which was 99 i think it's gonna be 149 the one which is 149 is gonna be 179 so they're gonna go in price on november 1st at least get one month free right so you can see if you like it or not if you have mc you can register and also get one month free which subscription do you want to use well at least the one for 129 because you want to be able to have those tools right thread lines lane ratio so you want to see what's going on this is my personal opinion so you guys do it how find good load well how find a good load what is a good load is that good load which is a rate per mile is high is a good load which does not have much liability was it what is a good load for you good load is different for everybody else good load for some people is a load which brings him home because he needs to do restart in the end of the day you need to make sure that you run legal and you're profitable right so usually we want to be above rate per mile and we want to make growth nowadays we are making what from eight to ten thousand for dry when a week and we're making from nine and a half to 13 14 for reefer again guys please talking about legal runs if you're gonna throw at me now numbers 15 16 17 thousand a week then please honestly tell faking logbook taking team loads this is a different story okay so uh, you know me i am direct i'm european i do not bs nobody so i'll tell you this so tell me realistic numbers legal runs and then we can talk otherwise this is misinformation okay beautiful thank you what is this i have had a lot of scam people messaging me for things that are not industry related yes i mean that's what happens people people uh coming to you say for um thank you yerevan thank you guys watching us all over here's a question we have tico from yerevan right can i be a dispatcher if i am outside of the country yes you can be dispatcher you can provide service do i need to have a company in usa well this is again between you and agreement between carrier if he's willing you to pay and just transfer money for your service this is your private this is your private agreement do we have a lot of dispatchers outside of usa yes 65 percent nowadays is outsourced in country like Uzbekistan, Moldova, Ukraine, Philippines, Colombia, India, uh, Czech Republic, we have a lot, Macedonia, Bulgaria, yes, it is outsourced. So how does it work? Usually person who is in USA creates a company here and then goes and they build dispatch services outside of the country, right? Because it's cheaper, labor is cheaper. So if you have to hire me 
well, you have to pay professional fee in USA, right? For people who are outside of, of countries, special in, um, let's say, countries which economic situation is not that strong, of course, it's cheaper for them to have 10 of dispatchers in year one than to have two professional dispatchers in USA. Two professional dispatchers in USA equals 15 dispatchers in year one. So ratio to trucks might be different. It's easier and it's cheaper. Secondary, that's how they make money. And the bottom of the this conversation doesn't matter where you at. Here or outside, you need to know what you're doing. And when you outside of the country, when you never been in USA, you should educate yourself starting with geography, roads, tolls, holidays, the way you ask questions. For example, in USA, we do not use madam. Well, we don't use madam, we have ma'am. So they can hear that you outside of the country, right? The way you ask questions, oh, please don't be greedy, give me $50, guys. This is not, this is not, we're not just standing outside, we are professional dispatchers, right? Asking questions in correct way, knowing your data, negotiating. Usually people are afraid to ask more money. Do you have any wiggle room? No, guys. My bottom dollar is this. I know the market. That's where I need to be. Can they hear that you're outside of the country? Probably the way you ask questions. When they tell you shipper name or receiver or even the routes, you put on Google Maps. You know what? I'll give you examples. Outside of the country dispatch. Just uh, let open. Let's just open Google Maps, okay? Since we are already talking and we are direct. <coughs> As I told you guys, you're going to love me or hate me. I don't have people in between. So let's put, uh, let's say Chicago, right? I'm going to share it in a second. I'm going to just prepare the map. And then we're going to go to, um, let's say, <clears throat> Los Angeles. Let me, let me show you the map. Okay, so here is an example. Here's going to be an example of outside dispatch, right? Outside of the country dispatch. And that's how they post. Oh, I don't know what's, what's going on. Hold on. Stop sharing. Let me do one more time. Let me do one more time. Share screen. Okay. So here, look at this. I'm going to make it bigger so you can see. People outside of the country. They even post advertisement. Come to us. We're going to dispatch you. We are the best dispatch company, right? Guys, we do not take this road. This is a national park, right? Trucks do not drive through there. So you need to make sure, at least when you advertise, please, at least use the truck uh, roads, right? So when when i see advertisement in the groups and i see something like that so especially here they go in through the lakes or they go through let's say from oregon right they go through uh Canavic and they go to sacramento and the road shows here that's when i know that people have no clue about geography okay so if you have no clue about geography please learn please improve Learn the tools, ask your drivers in USA. Can you help me out? Which routes are you not taking? It's okay to be outside of the country. It's okay to have accent. I have accent. My English is not perfect. I was born and raised in Ukraine. I came here when I was 22. Yes, it's probably for uh, American born people. Sometimes they say, oh, Alex, you sound funny. Sometimes your grammar is not correct. Yes, this is not my first language. As much as all of you, I am improving. But you need to know basic knowledge of routes, tolls, equipment, weather, condition, holidays, because holidays are going to affect your spot market. So hopefully, I am telling you that it's possible. You just need to learn, right? I saw today somebody was asking me under my... Uh, under my video, I heard that it's no zip codes in Chicago area. And person asking me, oh, I want to be a dispatcher. You heard? 
at least Google that. No, we have zip codes in Chicago. And actually, uh, Chicago is a big city, same as Boston, same, same as New York, same as Los Angeles. So Chicago has so many different zip codes. That's why you're going to verify which zip code in Chicago you're going to pick up. Because do you want to pick up right in downtown Chicago? Do you want to pick up right in the lakeshore? Same as, for example, Boston. So you will verify. So sometimes you guys need to put your effort into this. Nowadays, we have so much information. You can Google, you can learn, you can go to FMCSA, you can learn rules. So put an effort into it because that's what's going to make you a good dispatcher, pro dispatcher. Come to this with a beginner's mind. Beginner's mind, it's when you are opening yourself to the new knowledge, new skills, new advices. If you think you're already an expert and you know it all, you know what's going to happen? You're going to stay on that level. You're never going to improve and learn something new. Do you think I know it all? No, I know this much. And I'm learning every day, every day, every day. I'm going... uh, learn other things, not just with dispatch, with logistics, with accounting, with financing, because I have beginner's mind. I know only this much. I'm 44 years old and I have not learned things which can really help me out. That's why I'm advancing. So uh, if you want to achieve anything, just keep learning. Okay. Will I be, uh, will i be able to work with the new authorities. Yes, right now, market is strong. So you going to be able to survive only with brokers who are going to take you. We have the list. If you guys going to go to <clears throat> my community and you're going to see post, right? Let's see. Here you go. So you guys are already on my Facebook, right? Look at the community post, which I did a few days ago. Here's a, here is the list of the brokers who are going to work with you from the first time. It is on our community tab. Sometimes I post there all the information, so stop following us. So look, C.H. Robinson, Chop 10, Circle 8, England, Fifth Will, Integrity, Lipsy, Mercer, those companies, third-party brokers who will be working with you from day one. And then in 30 days, you're going to add... Coyote, Ellen Land, US, and way, way more. So can you survive? Yes, right now market is strong. When market is not strong, I suggest you to wait 30, 60 days. Right now is strong. You just need to know how to open uh, that timeline, when it's going to be active, because from the moment you pay $300, approximately it's going to take you months to get active, right? Because you need BOC3 insurance, you have 10-day protest period, and it's going to take you up to 21, 25 days if you do it right away. So yes, is it possible? Yes. Um, What is this? Yes, you will, but it will be challenging. Again, I dispatch brand new guys who I open company with. Challenges, they still making 36, 37, 40,000 right now with a drive and being one month, two months in business possible yes it is possible so challenging but if market is good right now which software are required for dispatcher well um which type of software required for dispatchers we don't really require you just need to know your load boards right we have that we have truck stop but most of the brokers they have their free load boards tql have their free load boards xpo Coyote, Trinity, um, Convoy, uh, C.H. Robinson, England, all of them, Chop Tank, they all have free load boards. Can you use them as independent dispatcher? No. But the carrier who you work with, you can sign him up for all those load boards. And you can log in, you can post your equipment, and you can book right there without without even... Without even um, booking the load let's see the last one we booked i believe yesterday on friday let me log in to coyote just to show you just to show you <coughs> you how it works look at the coyote share the screen okay so this is coyote load boards right so you can 
don't know why is that making that uh, blinking. Maybe, hold on, I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to do it one more time. I don't know if it's a bad connection or because I went straight to live. So this is Coyote, right? So you can put origin state. You can put where you're going, right? Look at my 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 loads. You can open my loads right now. Do we have any today or not, right? Let's see. We can post still uh, for tomorrow, for example. Apply. <clears throat> Sixteen twenty-three. apply okay look at this we have the load right so this is assigned to us accepted so accepted look at this this is picking up where at night because my driver is doing restart right so he's gonna pick up 8 p.m uh 8 p.m in uh wisconsin this is going to be fresh load of beef he's going to deliver in michigan next day 6 30 because of his hours right so you can have everything done here right and <laughs> where's our document so look at the rate confirmation right so let's see how much did they pay us how much did they pay us thirty one hundred dollars thirty one hundred dollars so can you book a good load on coyote thirty one hundred for what 450 miles picking up monday night because of his hours he's doing restart he's gonna pick up delivering tuesday night guys what are we talking about eight dollars per mile eight dollars per mile so you need to start using the apps you need to start uh having plan b c and d remember in the beginning of the week everybody was going crazy that is not working oh my god the end of the world was that the end of the world for the pro dispatcher no because first you can go to truck stop right you can go to all the load boards because they were working right coyote was working tqo was working xbo was working everything was working this was plan b what would be your plan c calling your brokers who you've been working and saying well i have truck in philadelphia i have truck in los angeles i have truck in miami i have do you have anything don't you have the list of your brokers uh you should all have the black book right my good good guys black guys which i don't go bad receivers and a good guys right i even have all of them on my text messages that's why it's so easy for me to dispatch a lot of trucks right because i click i need load i need to load also on my google um uh, handout with my emails so was it the end of the world for the pro dispatcher no it was just a little hiccup so you go from a, a, a plan a to b and c and that's what i teach you guys in a class logical thinking thinking outside of the box improving your skills know when to say no to the nonsense and how to connect how to use try hole for example right ask about back hole if you already have the broker and he's a good broker don't you want to ask him if he has a back hole from uh, philadelphia on monday or tuesday do you have back hole from the same receiver if he gives you a good load don't you want to ask him how often do you have this load because you can bring your truck back right if he has it every day or maybe he only has it on friday but this is good for your driver this is already building relationships but you cannot build a relationship without strong foundation and that's what i guys do in my class i'm giving you 100 from some of myself of my experience of my knowledge i am learning together with you I am showing you how I'm doing on the real loads, on the real cons uh, rate confirmation. And that's why my training is different. I am there for you. I answer your questions. Yes, it's not that easy. Yes, it's challenging because it would be way easier for me to just pre-record and start charging you. But no, I am on a mission, guys, to change trucking with you. Together, we can make it better. We can get rid of desperate dispatchers. We can get rid of unknowledgeable owners of the trucking. And hopefully in few years, we're going to have 
better uh, outlook of the industry because trucking needs to improve their uh, they need to educate their drivers their dispatchers their safety people even people who own the trucking company don't hesitate i don't care if you already have trucking company sign up for the safety training you need to know your stuff you really need to know what are you doing okay uh do you have free classes who cannot afford your class we have we have award system and you will need to participate you have to follow us on all that and you have to write our your story and please story cannot be fake story we double check and we empowering people who really can prove to us that they will put their effort and they will really go to the trucking. So we're not just giving free classes for anybody. So yes, you have to send us your story. You have to send us why do you want to be dispatcher. You will have to check some of your knowledge. And yes, we do award free classes. That's why we have member membership on the youtube so other people help us with the mission plus me personally i'm very given person we always have free classes every every month we have three to four free classes free students so we trying to change industry well thanks again uh sign to have dedicated one not a one time there's there's certain form to have a shipper sign when you have a dedicated lane not just a one-time load well you're talking about having dedicated lane yes you will have a contract as a trucking company can you have dedicated lane if you only have one two trucks not really because this is an agreement right you need to service this lane so it's it can be challenging if you don't have enough equipment or enough trailers so usually dedicated dedicated lane is uh for companies who have a little bit more equipment usually 10 and more then you can look into dedicated lane if somebody's telling you that with one truck you can really go to dedicated lane this is nonsense yes maybe you're gonna go to shipper and he's but i'm gonna give you once twice but you're gonna wait for payment can you survive he's not gonna pay you right away or he's gonna try to pay you even less because he's gonna take advantage of it right you go in directly to him so sometimes it's different uh i have different views on that to go and start negotiating dedicated lanes you need to have more knowledge you need to have negotiation skills you need to know market you need to calculate what if the market's gonna go up how are you gonna service that lane right and this is already what we cover in, in a brokerage class if you want to decide to be uh brokerage what is the email where to send our story to well it's not just our story you have to go and find the video on our website uh youtube there has a video about how to participate you have to subscribe to our site to our youtube you have to write the story and that's on our website learndispatchtoday.com so here's our website and you need to find that video, watch it, and follow all the rules. So here you go, learndispatch.com. This is our home. That's where everything's happening, right? So you have subscribed to our website. We have registration, and all of the things are here. Mentorship and everything else, right? So here, you can put your email, subscribe, and then follow the rest learn this patch today at gmail.com but first you have to be subscribed to our website any other questions what is the email do you have a classes okay well i hope i hope i help you with some answers and we're gonna be done for today see you soon and thanks a lot stay connected at least like our post share and hopefully we can change this together. Sorry, guys, again for my voice. I have been teaching safety class today for five hours. And tomorrow is my new dispatch class. Thank you again. I really appreciate you watching me and liking us. Thank you. I'll see you soon.